Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's video will be showing you how to store your Solana offline using the Ledger Nano X and the Ledger Live uh, desktop suite. I know I've seen a bunch of people requesting this video uh, in the comment sections of other videos. I'm sorry it took so long. I had to wait for my device to come in the mail. And now that I've had it all set up, I can bring this content uh, to you today. Okay, so let's get started. But before we do, if you guys are enjoying the content you're seeing on the channel, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps us grow and it helps me spend more time bringing you guys content uh, in a quicker fashion. All right, as you can see, I'm currently logged into my Ledger Live on my device. And what I'm gonna wanna do now is I'm gonna wanna install the application to store Solana on my device. To do this, obviously I'll have to be logged in with my pin code unlocked. I'm gonna head on over to manager to install the Solana app. That way you can store your coins on the device. So I'm gonna hit install here under Solana. If you don't see this at the bottom here, all you'll just do is uh, hit the search function and type in uh, SOL or Solana. As you now see on the right hand side, it is installing the Solana application. And then once that's done, it'll show that it's obviously installed. Okay, so now as you can see, we've installed the application for Solana, but as of now, we can't actually create accounts directly through our Ledger Live. So what we need is an intermediary wallet, a third party wallet, there are two available. I believe there's Soulflare and there's also Phantom. Now for the sake of today's demo, I'm gonna use Phantom. So one quick thing I wanted to tell you guys before you actually install the Phantom wallet, there's one thing you're gonna to wanna to do on your Ledger Nano device is go into the Solana app, then go to settings and then turn on blind signing. Okay, this way it'll allow you to send tokens on the Solana blockchain. And as you can see, it's phantom.app. It's a wallet for the Solana network and I can just hit add to Chrome and then choose hit add to Brave, add extension. Once I've done this, I now have the Phantom extension on my browser and I can hit create new wallet and it's gonna show my security phrase. What you're gonna wanna do is obviously write that down. Once you've written down your security phrase, obviously keep it stored safely offline, not on your computer. And then you can hit, okay, I've saved it somewhere and I can create a password now for my account. Once I hit agree, I can hit save. There's keyboard shortcuts to obviously bringing it up. You can just hit continue and then finish. And then now if we go into our plugin section here, we can bring up Phantom and we can head on into our actual wallet. And at this point we can go to the menu section here and we can hit uh, add or connect a wallet and we can hit connect hardware wallet using your ledger. It's searching your device and then you can hit continue and it's gonna ask you for permission to connect to your Nano. At this point, you can choose Nano X and then hit connect. You can hit continue. If for some reason it's not connecting, that means that you probably have your Ledger Live desktop suite open. So make sure that you close that before you try and connect uh, to the Phantom hardware wallet or else it'll just keep uh, kicking you out. So now we can hit continue and we can select our wallet address of our choice. I'm just gonna select the default one here, hit add account. And all it's gonna do is just say account added. Now I can access my Ledger Nano through Phantom to store my Solana. So now I'm just gonna hit done and I'm gonna head on over to my Phantom here in the top right hand corner. And I can just select deposit and I can choose Solana. And then it's gonna say Ledger one. And then it's gonna hit, uh, I'm just gonna hit copy. As you see here, this is the default wallet that came with Phantom and now we have our Ledger device. So always make sure when you're storing your Solana, it's on this uh, wallet address right here. And then as now I can just uh, choose to do so. So I'm gonna copy my Solana address. I'm gonna go over to an exchange and I'm gonna withdraw my Solana to my device right now. Now I currently, I'm on the Mandal exchange and I have some Solana here. I'm gonna choose to withdraw this. I'm gonna paste in my address and I'm gonna withdraw my tokens. Okay, and I've gone through the withdrawal process. As you can see, I've withdrawn my Solana to my address, and now we just go back to our Phantom application to wait for our Solana to arrive. Now, if I want while I'm waiting, I can just go to settings here, and this is where I can change the name of my account. Uh, that way I can make it more clear that this is the account that I wanna be using. Um, I can also choose to check out my security phrase if I, for some reason, have lost it. This is where I can do it, just by putting in my password. Uh, so for today, I'm just gonna change this over to uh, RBM Crypto. we go and hit enter and then just head on over back here and wait for my Solana to arrive. 
All right, and as you see, my Solana has now reached my wallet. Um, it's on my RBM crypto account on my Ledger Nano X through the Phantom third-party wallet on your either Chrome or Brave browser. Um, now, if I want, I can just unplug my Nano, store it away safely, and my Solana is safely stored, connected to my hardware wallet offline. So now if I want to send my Solana, I would just go to send, choose Solana, paste my address back in. That would be the exchange or any other wallet, the amount, hit next, and then hit send. So now you'll go to your device. You'll go through all of the, uh, the details of the transaction showing you which address is sending the tokens, where it's going. You'll keep on hitting the right button on your device until you get to approve and then hit both buttons at the same time to approve the transaction. And now, as you can see, I am now sending my tokens back from my wallet to the exchange. And now once the transaction's approved on your device, you can see I have now sent my soul to a different wallet address off of my device. And that is the entire process covered from start to finish. So in this video, I've shown you guys how to install the Solana application on your Ledger Live application. And then once we've done that, we installed the Phantom app on our browser. And once we installed the Phantom application wallet, we created a wallet and then we connected our hardware wallet, which is the Ledger Nano and we received Solana tokens to that wallet and we sent them out. And that is it for today's video. A little bit longer than normal, but uh, I, I wanted to make sure we covered absolutely everything um, from start to finish. So if you guys are enjoying the content you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks and take care.